turn that light off. Ellen? Yes? What's the trouble, my dear? What do you mean, what's the trouble? I don't know. What can we do to make you more I right, You let me out of here. Would you like to lay down in your bed? No, I'd like to go. Out. Outside? Out. Is everything okay, Lisa? Hi, Ellen. Why, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch you. Are you okay? Who? Oh. You. No! What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Nothing? nothing. Because I don't like them. I don't like them, I tell them so. Well, that's fair enough. We want to help you, make you oh, feel sure. a little make bit better. Oh, sure, make you feel at home and everything's happy and, you know, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a real jive, isn't it? Just a jive. We're here to make you feel comfortable. Oh, yes, yeah, sure you are, I know. You know. I'm sure we've all met an Ellen somewhere. So, the next day, the care aides try to help her into bed, and all of a sudden, you receive the fax. Ellen and her identifying information, she is more agitated since you last saw her a month ago. This afternoon, she pinched a staff member causing a bruise. Suggestions? Seroquel? Thank you for getting back to us at our earliest convenience. So, what has changed for Ellen? Be descriptive. What did she do? Okay, what are the risks? R, R is for roaming. Do we have a roaming risk? No, we don't have a roaming risk. I, what is uh, imminent? Frail, falls, fire, firearms, do we, delirium, do we have any of that kind of stuff? Maybe frailty, right? She wants to leave. She wants to go. I should know that she's actually tried to go, but she's verbalized that, that's for sure. Okay, so frailty. What has changed in her medical health? Why is she in the facility? Is it stroke she, mm-hmm. So now she is more dependent for care, right? She is more frail that way, for sure. What about suicidality? Do we have any evidence? Currently, no evidence. We don't. We don't have. We don't have that. Okay. What about that kinship? Okay. So she alienated her daughter. That's for sure. What about kinship with staff? Okay. So she's always had that sarcastic and now the little bit of hollering and now she pinched somebody. So it's not only endangering the relationships with the staff, it's also endangering her own well-being. So on each table, the staff have graciously done for us a Cohen Mansfield and her DOS. Tell me what you think. What concerns do those indicate? Are you worried about her sleeping? Sleep is yellow. Are you worried about her sleep? The number ones, are you worried about her sleep? She seems to be sleeping at nighttime. Okay. Right. So the, so she's a night owl, right? Pretty sure uh, she's a night owl, yeah. Okay, but is that a concern? Is that something that you think needs to be addressed? No. What does need to be addressed? What shows up? What about from the Cohen Mansfield? What's in that five, six, and seven range? So the pinch is there. That was a one of, so that's a three, right? But more, there's the restlessness, there's the verbal aggression, the repetitive questions, the complaining. You add it all up, she scores 70. That's a pretty... Decent score on Nicole and Mansfield, okay? So we're gathering more information. When you look at this and you see at night, there are times when she, has, she is restless or there is aggressive behavior. What do you think is happening? 
She has to use the bathroom, okay? So that's an interactive thing, right? That's the kinship thing we need to know about. So when she interacts with other folks, that's when it kind of flares up. Next question, what are the possible causes?